90.5 WASU. Good morning. Happy Friday. This is the morning app. I'm Howie C. Here with Josh, Kristen, and Dovid Das. How y'all doing this morning? Well, it's Friday. We so. made it. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. That's That's I've been say. preaching this all morning, guys. We made it. Last well, night, I know, y'all all had some, some fun going bowling. I heard there was a bet going on, too. Mm. <laughs> well, it would have been more fun had you gone. Oh, but, Josh. of course, you bailed on us, uh, no. per usual. How he always bails on us. See, yep. they get on me all it's the really time popular. whenever there's plans going on and I'm not there. I'm like, Howie, what are you doing? <laughs> Why aren't you with us? Because <laughs> you're never there. Okay, what? to be fair, he spends a lot of time every morning with us. So I mean, he, needs, yeah. he needs his alone time, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So it, you should tell us more about that bet you guys had. <laughs> okay. Well, Kristen was dumb. Oh, wow. That's you, should not, <laughs> you, should, you should not have made that bet. Okay, so you need some background before you understand this bet here. (laughs) We have a rivalry. Josh's office is beside my office, but it's maybe like 10 feet apart. And I brought in a mini fridge for this year because I'm going to live in this building this year pretty much. So I needed a a fridge so I can put my lunch in it. Well, there's an old microwave in Josh's office. And it just, you know, well, you know, doesn't it make sense? Well... Doesn't it make sense if the microwave you're, is on top of the fridge so that they're together? You're leaving out the key piece of information that there is, there was, like, the uh, community fridge was in my office, and technically it still is, but it's broken. So she brought in a new one that should have probably gone in the office that it originally Absolutely came from. Absolutely not. But instead oh. she put it in hers. Absol- and no. then she stole the microwave one day. I Joshua, walked in, Joshua. and I knew the feng shui he, was off. No, he's telling this story completely inaccurately. <laughs> listen, listen, about? that fridge is my dad's and he said you better take care of it therefore it is in my office and you should have trusted it with your best friend okay oh. you and like, <laughs> 17 other people share that office you should have trusted me to keep them under control and so it just makes sense if the microwave is in t- on top of the fridge and one day i went into josh's office to microwave my food and there was stuff all on top of the microwave but it's the on the floor it's against the wall it just <laughs> it didn't make now, any sense well, if if there's stuff on top of the microwave you can still open the door by pushing no, it no 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 it was on like the side no 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 it was blocking everywhere around people had put their stuff literally on top of the microwave uh, on the side of the microwave i couldn't get to it so i take the microwave into my office without and i put it excuse me (laughs) (laughs) without (laughs) informing me and i put it on top of the fridge because they go together it makes sense right and so then last night we all decided somebody had the horrible idea to go bowling and i suck at (laughs) bowling therefore i i also am like really competitive so I yeah, for the record, I did not come to her with this bet. I was sitting at my table eating pizza and she comes up, she's like, Okay, let's make a bet. Let's go right now. Let's make let's bet something. Let's bet something. Go, go, go. Money power. And I'm like, Why? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I she had like one pin through five frames. I think they're called frames. She had like one, okay? I was up to like fifty or I something think already. I did like five gutter balls in a row. Yeah, she oh, was getting oh. I, I saw Snapchats and I, I couldn't help you there. You yeah. were on your own. <laughs> so we yeah. bet the microwave, and at the end of the day... It was your idea to bet the microwave, too. You're getting creamed like 50 <laughs> to 1. And she's like, oh, let's bet the microwave. And then she shook my hand, and she's like, oh, man. It's okay. <laughs> I, I think uh, my friend, my dear friend Kelsey and I have devised a small plan that you will see unfold within the next week or two. Yeah, so I don't think worry. Bu- I think they're going to buy their own microwave, which is why they're not heard about <laughs> losing this Buy one, the own microwave. I don't even know I c- if I can buy dinner tonight. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, they're doing Fair. something. I don't know what, but I'm afraid it's booby-trapped. Like, Never know. I, I really don't know. But <laughs> in the end, the microwave is back to where it was, <laughs> all safe and sound, in the sports office. We will take care of that bad boy at least for two weeks. Hasht- <laughs> I was ahead, just going to say hashtag microwave wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, if Keep you think up. that that's going to stay in your office, don't worry. We have all year to make bets. Yeah, but you don't win any. But we don't oh. need to make bets. Yes, we <laughs> do. <laughs> life, friends. life is a competition. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if nothing's at stake, then what are we even doing here? Yeah. yeah. Dude, right. My girlfriend's like that all the time. She'll <laughs> always try to make a bet for like no reason. It's like we'll just watch like a try not to laugh challenge. She's like, let's make a bet. <laughs> exactly. Life's a competition. It's a Leave competition there, gets aspect. dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't sound like that. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> but in my memories. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, bowling bowling was pretty fun though, and um, yeah, it was I had nice a good time. Too. Josh decided to no. partake in some. Karaoke. You're and leaving out the key word. They're decided. It was forced upon me. Well, they came up. <laughs> they, they came up to me as I was bowling, and they're like, "You're doing karaoke." I'm like, 
Yeah, and we, I was very hesitant at first, and then they told me what song. And I had no, I've never seen any of the High School Musicals in my life, and they picked a High School Musical song. So just imagine how that went. Well, that's your fault, Josh, for missing out on childhood. But well, yes, <laughs> you know what my parents keep telling me. This could be the start of something new. It feels, feels so, so right. right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're making a reference. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, no. Yeah, we may or may not have signed them up yep. for karaoke. But yeah, but then they called us up there. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have saw that. That would have been great. It was pretty great. Um, so I wanted to try something a little bit different today. Um, I really like exploring Reddit, and uh, one of my all-time favorite subreddits is Today I Learned. Uh -huh. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's basically like people just posting like some really weird or really interesting facts that you probably haven't really heard of. So I picked like my top five for this week. Um, so the first one I, I thought was really funny was uh, Today I Learned a 19-year-old pizza delivery guy helped save a man's life by performing. CPR on the customer who was turning blue outside of the house, and then the kid said, "I left a pizza boy, and I came back a pizza man." <laughs> oh, <laughs> my His tip was twenty five dollars. That's a man tip right there. That's, wow. that's a good tip. You saved somebody's life for that. Yeah, <laughs> right. twenty five. Actually, wait, only twenty five? That's only twenty five. That's, that's what I was thinking. Life, like, <laughs> is your life worth twenty five dollars? But uh, no, I'll just go away. <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, so here's another one. Today I learned an Italian schoolboy was selling snacks on campus at a lower price rate than the actual cafeteria, and he got suspended for 10 days. Wow. But <laughs> he received a prestigious scholarship from an institute that said the boy's initiative should be encouraged instead of prosecuted. There you go. Wow. Wow, <laughs> wow that's a hero right there. That's like the next Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's hard does, to make a living. Does he have like, the snacks in his jacket? He's like, He's oh, like yeah, yeah. I, got, yeah. I got the central <laughs> snacks, you know? I got the french fries from McDonald's. I got the french fries. <laughs> for 29 <laughs> That's an entrepreneur right there, honestly. That's smart, yeah. 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 Um, here's another cool one. Um, today I learned Johnny Cash only took three voice lessons in his childhood before his teacher enthralled with Johnny Cash's unique singing style, advised him to stop taking lessons and to never deviate from his natural voice. Interesting. Johnny Cash wow. is a legend, so that doesn't surprise me. That's actually. insane that like a kid is like, <laughs> like, no, stop. <laughs> You're done. See, he's so, he was so talented, so that yeah. really doesn't surprise me that much. Um, so also... Speaking of other musicians, uh, today I learned Eminem's song Lose Yourself was the first rap song to win an Oscar for Best Original Song. But huh. Eminem didn't even watch the awards because he didn't even think that he had a chance at winning. So he spent that whole evening falling asleep watching cartoons with his daughter. Aww. That's still really cute, though. Like, that's a good father. <laughs> that's pretty cool and pretty sweet. Yeah. You know? You're thinking you're not going to win an Oscar. But so. don't you know if you're nominated? Shouldn't, don't they tell you, hey, you should yeah. come well, be yeah, here? Yeah, he's, he's nominated, but he's like, there's no chance I'm going to win. So. Wow. There's no way this yeah. is going to yeah. happen. I don't, need like to go, <laughs> I don't need to go to it. I'm just going to stay inside my daughter. So. Yeah. I, I just want to know what cartoons he was watching. That's the real question. Uh, he, oh, he, I agree. I, I, what I, kind I, of cartoon guy is Eminem? I'd find him as a Ed, Ed, and Eddie type of cartoon guy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I just see mm. that. Can I share something I learned yeah. yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Okay, my roommate shared this with me. Um, Dexter's Laboratory. Did you yes. guys used to watch mm -hmm. that? No. Yes. Powerpuff yeah. Girls and Johnny Bravo. Mm -hmm. No. All three of those writers were roommates in college. What? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. That's intelligent people right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And they're adding a new Powerpuff Girl. That's like the I heard about that, that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Avengers of cartoon writers <laughs> all in one apartment hall of fame that must have been some apartment man that yeah, could I be guess. us <laughs> and uh the last one i think is pretty interesting so today i learned hundreds of love letters between two gay world war ii soldiers were found and are being made into a book and in one of them it wrote wouldn't it be wonderful if all of our letters could be published in the future in a more enlightened time Stop. then wow. all of the world could see how in love we are no, I'm going to cry. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my. That, oh and then, God. man, if they knew who was president, though, I'd be like, guys, <laughs> yeah, you, guys you don't want it published we are, during get, this time. We're, we're getting there, but, you know. <laughs> that is uh, so sweet. Well, all right. Uh, stick around. We've still got a lot of cool stuff to talk about. Here's Don't Stop Believing, Journey, 90.5 WASU.
morning app on 90.5 WASU and WASURadio.com. 8.16 on this Friday morning, and oh my goodness, Friday was a long time coming. I am actually wearing my pajamas today because that's just how much I have. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear that. don't care. <laughs> it, it, sometimes you wake up. I, this morning I was like, PJs. This is the shirt I wore when I slept <laughs> last night. So I was like, PJs too? Nah, nah I'll put pants on. <laughs> yeah, sweats, any time of day is a good time of day for PJs. Though, right. You know? right. <laughs> We're the DJs and PJs, but I'm not. I'm wearing <laughs> jeans. See, so this, this is really. the American way. And yeah. also, I have a list of 10 American foods that we take for granted, but people in other countries have never tried. You'll be surprised by this list, actually. Number mm. 10 on this list is deep-fried everything at a state fair. Deep-fried everything. No. We, we love deep-fried, like deep-fried Oreos. We like deep-fried pickles. And we just love deep-fried everything. So they haven't had, like, deep-fried Oreos. They haven't had, like... Deep-fried well, Oreos Deep-fried I haven't exist. either. All to be honest, like, some of the stuff we make is pretty weird. Like, and gross. I haven't, <laughs> yeah. I haven't had half of it. Okay, I love deep fried things, but deep fried Kool Aid and Oreos are two things that I just think wait, the second I eat them, I will ooh. barf. Kool Aid? Wait, there's a deep wait, fried Kool Aid. Wait, 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 the it's it's an actual mm. burger with two donuts instead okay, of Okay, I've heard of that. Yes. What? Yeah, oh. I don't blame the country for that. God, that's with so that. American. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the number oh, nine sh- thing on this list is actually uh biscuits and gravy. <gasps> biscuits uh. are my most favorite <sighs> food ever. If oh you know my. me, you know I love biscuits. <laughs> Every morning in Colorado, I got a biscuit. Did I not? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we went to the Golden Biscuit. Mm-hmm. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm like an average biscuit fan. I don't know. Like I think biscuits are. Pretty good, but like I, I, I don't, I don't really go crazy for them. I don't know. I think I just had my first biscuits and gravy combo. What? Maybe this year. Yeah, I agree. Are like you with the, never like with gravy, gravy poured over the biscuit. Maybe I that's thought that was extremely weird. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. I don't know where I had it either. I know it was just ran- like it was you the guys. only thing served. We're not seven yeah, million if like... we haven't had a biscuit and gravy. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. Okay, we're gonna all road trip out to my mamaw's house because she makes the best biscuits and gravy. That's a plan. I hear food. Mamaw. <laughs> if she's a mamaw, then I know that that biscuit. Yeah, and gravy. I know we're gonna get more food than just <laughs> biscuits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the number uh, eight thing on this list is tater tots. That's an American thing. Yes. No, oh, it's yeah. not incredible, country? amazing thing. Tater tots are fantastic. A great actually. alternative to French fries. I agree. I, I'm not a fan of tater tots, though. <gasps> oh. No. oh, They're I, not that great, guys. Ooh. Oh, they're great. They're not that great. Honestly, <laughs> they're borderline better than fries, if we're being honest. Ooh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going that far. I'm not with you on that one. <laughs> whole bucket of tater tots or whole bucket of fries. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I think it depends on the day, you know. Yeah. It depends on what you're eating. Oh, I don't know. How you're feeling. Yeah. yeah. I used to work at this restaurant, and they used to make the craziest, like, loaded tots. It was like, they had like, so they, check this out. They got a bowl, right? You put tots in the bowl. Then you like, you, you have this like cheese that you, you drench oh. the tater tots in. Then you sprinkle bacon, yes. scallions. You smack a little bit of sour cream on there. And it is so filling and so know, good. I'm, I'm telling you. That that's, good. Dude, you'd yes, be surprised. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dobie, I, it would I get sell that. like crazy. <laughs> Sonic I has the best it. tater tots. And they I don't really like ones, yeah. That's a little too much for me, but I used to really, like, I would dig into that. That does not sound appetizing. <laughs> me either, but um, number seven thing on this list is root beer. That's American? I don't like root beer. Really? I, I don't like it at I've all. I've never had it. Josh, you <laughs> seem to, are you American? <laughs> 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 Missed out on biscuits and gravy growing up, root beer. Well, AW root beer is pretty solid, but other than that, I don't really like it. It's a weird soda. You definitely have to be in a very specific mood to want a root beer. Yeah, I feel like, I agree. you know, it's just. Yeah, I think root beer is really nostalgic now. Yeah. You know, that's why they made a beer <laughs> that tastes <laughs> like root beer. <Yeah. laughs> Number six on this list is macaroni and cheese. Okay. That I cannot live without. Well, Especially the, yeah. the Velveeta white cheese mac and cheese. <laughs> that's the best kind. Macaroni and cheese is like everybody's go to meal. So, I like, feel like, I don't know. You're saying like countries don't even have it or like they don't or they or like it's not some, like their first it's just not a food thing. of choice it's, it's not common kind of like well, how yeah. like peanut butter is also kind of like that like a lot of, yeah. a lot oh, of countries that. don't even yeah that's a lot of countries terrible. don't have peanut butter what 
Mm-hmm. It's just straight up Nutella, these which are, isn't that bad. But these are seriously <laughs> all I eat is mac and cheese and peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, going on from number six, going on number five, which is chocolate chip cookies. What? Yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> yeah. How is that not that's, universal? That's American, though. I feel like because we that's something that we would eat all the time. I don't see other countries eating it. Like that needs to be universal, though. <laughs> now they have a problem. App okay, Cookie Co needs to be don- nonprofit <laughs> and just start like giving out cookies. We need your mamma to start mailing them overseas. <laughs> <laughs> I know she would. The care yes. packages <laughs> from mamma. Mamma <laughs> packages. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, this one's really American, but I, I, this makes sense. Number four is beef jerky. Yeah, that's. Yeah. That's, That's very yeah, American. I could, yeah, <laughs> I could live without. I don't know what the big deal is about beef jerky. Okay, like, Jack Link's teriyaki beef jerky. Ooh, do you get any Fire. other flavor besides teriyaki? No, exactly. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just I see people eating. I'm like, that just I don't know. I you, you, uh, like I don't even have to say anything. And I'm <laughs> yeah. just like beef jerky. It seems so out of the ordinary from yeah. everything else like that we eat for some reason for me. It's yeah. Like a giant stick of beef. It's great. Yeah. Well, I don't get the stick. I get the um, little well, ripped up. Yeah. Package. Either got like Shreds. the flat one. Yeah. Or I don't the like the stick. Sticks. Yeah. They, I don't they taste weird to me. I mm-hmm. don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the number three thing on this list is authentic barbecue. Oh, that is so good. Oh my! I was living in the south. Oh my goodness. Southern barbecue is best. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny though is um, I don't know if you know this, but I'm from Chicago, mm-hmm. right? Surprise. And <laughs> up north, a barbecue is a thing that people do. It's not a food. Barbecue is a is a party. Barbecue yeah. is what the southern people call a cookout or, you know, an outdoor party. Oh yeah. So I came down here and I was like, why is barbecue on the menu? I just didn't understand that it was a food. <laughs> That's like reading birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> on the menu and you're like, wait, how do I eat birthday party? <laughs> yeah. I agree with that. Um, number two thing on this list is s'mores. Wow. Oh no. Yes. Yes. Love some s'mores. That that's also I feel like it's very American too. But so. try to ex- explain s'mores though to like a foreign person. Like, <laughs> like you, you get you get graham crackers, you get a marshmallow, you get chocolate, and you just but you put have to fi- or you put the, the marshmallow in the fire. Yeah, you yeah. Just yeah. All the fire. burn the, the marshmallow, yeah. and then you like you just take two crackers and you just like you just like put them together and you just like eat them and they're like, how do you eat this? How do you have teeth still? I don't understand. <laughs> Dobie's got it on, on point. The number one thing on this list. It's corn dogs. Corn there it is. Dogs. Again, I can see that being good. I, I did grow up on some corn dogs. <laughs> That's the grossest thing ever. Yeah. Oh, I don't really like corn gross. dogs either. Yeah. If I'd go for just a straight up hot dog if I needed it's, one. It's <laughs> so easy to microwave. The hardest part is when you microwave it, you flip it over, you microwave it, and one side is still cold, and you're like, what did I do? Did I like rotate it over too much in the microwave? Like, it's a delicate balance. But oh, this is the yeah. one so American food it. he eats. <laughs> Last name, I mean, kind of have to. Corn, corn dog. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Well, uh, stick around. We've still got some plenty of other things to talk about. You, uh, <laughs> Kristen has the weather coming up soon, so don't go anywhere here on the morning app.
And now back to the morning app on 90.5 WASU. Welcome back to the morning app. It is 8.30, give it like five seconds, 8.32 <laughs> in this mellow Friday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen, what is the deal with the weather today? Well, well we're in Boone, so <laughs> you never know. It, all know. It, uh, it might start snowing in about five seconds. True. Uh, no, but actually today and all through Sunday is looking really, really nice. Lots of sunshine, high of 62-ish, 65 throughout the days. And the lows in the, the mid 40s. It's going to be about four golf ball day, which means it's going to be gorgeous. So get outside because early next week you will not be able to go outside. Yeah, apparently yeah. there's yeah. a hurricane on its way. I just found out it's about like yesterday. Two. Josh, are you serious? You no, just I, found I out? I just found out. Are you I, really? I figured it was somewhere down in Texas, and then I found out there was another one yesterday. I'm okay. like, oh, cool. Yeah. So yeah. download a news app. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like the news. I don't watch it. It's too depressing and like, too. Yeah. Like, I just need to worry about my bubble and what's going on well, here. Well, your bubble's about to get hit with a hurricane. <laughs> yeah, I found that out. But no school, maybe. Maybe, potentially, because yeah. yeah. Boone occasionally can flood. Yeah, so I didn't know that. Yes. Lots of people don't think that we can because we're in the mountains, and they're just like, oh, it all just runs down the mountain. That's literally what right. I thought. <laughs> Boone's kind of, it's on a mountain, but it's also the valley of other mountains. Yeah. So, so it's like... In we, between a bunch of stuff. Mm. We can have potential flooding, so take precautions. Oh, no. Get you some canned food if you want to. I mean, I'm set. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm in college, that's all I eat. Yeah. But, <laughs> but seriously, that's coming early next week. But enjoyable weekend until then. So. Okay. Well, that sounds lovely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we have a couple of days until we drown. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't have to worry about running out of water, which is nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Speaking of the weekend, though, it is it is approaching. And as you know, us college kids like to go out and do th things on the weekend. Yes. So did these college kids who had a frat house in Massachusetts and decided that it would be a good idea to install an indoor waterfall. Best idea, yeah. That is a great <laughs> idea. From the second floor, a, a waterfall literally down the staircase, a marble staircase. This st just sounds like Hollywood to me. <laughs> down a marble staircase into the first floor. And um, they got busted out at a party one day, and the cop decided to write them up for, I guess it's illegal. An illegal water feature? It was, yeah. It's uh, supposedly some sort of code, a fire code, which doesn't make sense because it's water, so how but is it a fire code? <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah. I feel like celebrities have that all the time, though, in their mansions, right? But they like, probably get it professionally installed, and I guarantee you these frat guys are like, oh, let's just make a waterfall. Yeah, let's make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> poured water off the it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. I love that. <laughs> Vodka wa yes. waterfall. Yes. <laughs> I would be at that party every time that's at a party. Every, every waterfall in Russia is just the <laughs> That's how <laughs> <it is. laughs> But yeah, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's the craziest thing I've ever heard of inside a frat house. I mean, that's not my scene. I don't yeah. really go to those, but I don't know about you guys. What's what's that's the craziest crazy. thing you've seen at a party oh, in college? I've, I've seen a lot of things. Uh, actually, <laughs> <laughs> <I've been> everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> actually, I think the one thing that I didn't really see, but I was kind of there when it happened, I was uh, beeping one night with my friend. I was a co-beeper. You might want to explain what beeping is. Okay, so if yeah. you don't know what beeping is, basically it's similar to Uber. Um, it's just that students on some nights, they don't want to go out. Mm -hmm. So they decide to take people to parties and take them to, like, friends' houses and stuff. So you just pay $2, you call them up, and they take you to wherever you need to go around mm -hmm. Boone. Yeah, we so, do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Josh beeps a lot, actually. But uh, I was co-beeping this one weekend with my friend, and uh, it was uh, one frat party, and we were driving to it to pick somebody up. And then we get there, we see a whole bunch of uh, fire trucks and ambulances there. <gasps> and so we're like, what happened? Apparently, whenever we picked people up, they told us that some guy in the frat jumped off the roof. <laughs> he was like, he legit just jumped off the roof for no reason. Is he okay? I think he's good, but he, he broke something. He broke a couple of things. Oh, my God. So yeah, he if jumped off the roof or the, or the second floor or something, and he <gasps> broke something. So they had to completely shut down the party, and it was Man, what crazy. Do you expect? I mean, yeah, if that's <laughs> all he did, like. You're he not just a broke cat. a couple bones. Like he's trying to make a really awesome entrance. Yeah, he was. <laughs> I guarantee you, he was trying to impress a girl. Oh, Ooh. hey Sydney, watch this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hey, I bet you won't jump off this roof. Bet you I will. A backflip too. <laughs> Do a flip. I had, I had uh, guys living on my floor my freshman year, and I heard a story. I didn't go to the party, but I heard a story that at this one frat party, one of them, I guess it was on a hill, so the one guy tripped all the way down like a long hill like a mountain basically so he went all the way down he's drunk out of his mind like just can't remember anything rolled all the way down the hill and they couldn't find him the entire party and then they finally like made the trek down there 
and found that he was just laying like in a creek or something, just, just laying, chilling. Like, just chilling <laughs> at the bottom, like, the completely, creek. completely out of it. <laughs> they drag him back up and just leave him up against, lean him up against a tree and leave him there at the rest of the party. Oh and I mean, gosh. eventually, I think they came back and got him, but he just tripped backwards. Wow. And, mm. <laughs> like that's gotta suck. Rolled down the hill like Jack and Jill. Those are some cool story, guys. I mean, I, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't really go to t- that many parties, but I remember when I first transferred here, I tried to, you know, like socialize and stuff. Yeah. So I remember. There was one party that was kind of close to like App Cookie Co. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's a good place for a party. Yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, again, like this, I, I didn't really know what to expect. And there was this guy there that was like, he had like a, like one of those like fire, uh, oh, spin st- like stick. fire staff sticks things. And fire I, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of like, I'm already kind of getting drunk. And I'm like, dude, this guy's literally a firebender. And this guy's also <laughs> pretty drunk. And he's like, he's like twirling it around over his like neck and stuff. And it hit him in the face a good. <gasps> Solid couple of times, we just like kept going. He's like, just kind of like moving with it. You know, it's just like so, like, just total peace amongst all the fire and the flames. Just fire. But I'm oh just like, gosh. like, where are your parents? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's amazing though. Well, if you're a firebender, you probably doesn't feel the heat against his face. So like it was just yeah for him like well it was cold out so <laughs> yeah oh, okay that I was just like wow I guess this is App State like it this is, is yeah. it really is neat. this is App State thing right there <laughs> for uh, sure I mean I know this past couple weekends my uh my roommates threw a party and everything and my uh, my one roommate uh, great guy and everything he actually uh, pretty caring he puts people through a rigorous test to see if they're able to drive home like he, what he does <laughs> we have uh. A house, and it goes down. We have a walkway all the way down to like the bottom area with the deck and everything. And he's placed the stones like strategically, like American Ninja Warrior. And if someone's <laughs> like, "Oh yeah, I'm good to drive home," he's like, "Okay, take a lap, go down the walkway, and you have to jump on tile to tile. And if you can make it down there and back, you're free to go." <laughs> okay. So, okay. That I mean, pretty fun. it's pretty good. I, I, I enjoy like it. it. <laughs> Keeping everybody safe. Exactly. <laughs> oh man, but now I got a new story though. Okay, I heard that if we let kids sleep in, like until eight thirty, if school starts at eight thirty, and we can let them sleep in, we save about nine point three million. Wait, we save or would be we would save? We would save oh. save money, like nine point three billion, if not just any in? money. Well, yeah, because nobody's up and like awake to operate the school buses. I guess it's like an hour less of pay for teachers or something. Yeah, I mean, well, it what happens is <laughs> apparently <not>. there's, <laughs> there's less tired drivers on the road, meaning less accidents. Okay. If you sleep in, you then have students that will perform better in school, which I think is 100 percent true because they're more awake and everything. And then they go on and have better careers and contribute more to soci- to society. Like I don't know how they already gauge that already, but I mean, I'm all down for it because mm. I can't, I can't. It might just be, it might also be a thing of like w- before parents like, you know, because some parents take their like carpool their kids to school so it has to be before a certain time before they go to the work so t- to the work <laughs> so i think it's like also probably i because that's just silly nine that's billion dollars <laughs> i think they're just like oh we got to drop them off before we go to you know make money and stuff yeah because so. actually my school we went to class at eight forty-five. so wow. i would sleep in until like eight o'clock wow go that's to awesome. class in high school so that's pretty that's late a, that's pretty yeah but we get out at three fifteen or something, so yeah. Yeah, I don't fine. do that. Yeah, three forty five actually, but I don't even care. We started at seven thirty and got out at two fifteen. Honestly, so I would have uh, heard that. It was kind of yeah. nice, honestly. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm also weirdly a morning person. I don't understand mm-hmm. either, but I enjoy the mornings and I enjoy getting up early. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm all for school starting at like eight thirty nine and then getting out at four four thirty because school take school ruins my day anyway. Like I can't when I come home, I can't do anything anyway. So but then what's you the really point? can't do anything. Well, you really can't do anything anyway. Like I mean, <laughs> well, uh, also I think it's more convenient for the parents too because they work nine to five. So yeah. getting out just right in time will, will help them out. And then you get home, you get dinner, and then you can do whatever you want for the next six hours or so. So I guess yeah. I don't know. I'm f- all for starting the day early though. Yeah, well, that's just a lot, lot for me. I know, personally, 9 o'clock around that time was awesome. We come back on the morning app. Me and Kristen are going to talk to you about love <laughs> <laughs> and help you with your relationship. It's Brandy, Looking Glass, on the app.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. 90.5 WASU here, and that last <laughs> song you heard was my choice for the day, Brandy Looking Glass. And I thought about it because I tried watching the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which starts off with that song. If you haven't seen it, I'm not spoiling anything else. Because I didn't even get to watch the movie because, of course, my stream broke down oh. in the middle of it. Like, it's uh, great. It, it got through not even half the song. It's just like, yeah, do, 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 do. And then just completely pause. I'm like, okay, that's, that's, that's fun. It. Like, <laughs> I just want to watch Guardian of the Galaxy 2. I want to watch my Chris Pratt. They have some of the best soundtracks, though. Oh, yeah. yeah like, no. A great movie, great soundtrack. Oh. The combination. I hate exactly. superhero movies. Oh yeah, you goodness. hate all movies. Get out. <laughs> wow, they're so good. They're I'm so good. I'm sorry. I feel bad, too, because speaking of relationships... My boyfriend was sweet enough to go see Beauty and the Beast with me. Ooh. And well, you know that's that. kind of a chick flick, right? Yeah. And then, I watched it. I am a horrible girlfriend. He said, <laughs> he said, will you go to Guardians of the Galaxy with me or Superwoman or Wonder Woman? And I was like, no. I know. And Wait. Then no. that guy. <laughs> okay, coming from us guys, we know how like that's just the psh, the yeah. heart just breaks. You yeah. have to lie to him. You want to go to Wonder Woman? Movies. I felt bad. No, I didn't want to go see Wonder Woman. But I'm gonna make it up to him one day. I'll watch Lord of the Rings with him. And, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's the thing though. It's it's like it's like he was trying to like invite you into his world by like, just, like with Wonder Woman as a away. nice and she's like. <laughs> Go. I just, Bye. I, really, I just can't vibe with superhero movies. I just really cannot. I'm sorry. I felt bad. That's understandable. I did. It's a shame. But it's a shame. Uh, I, I would have. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of relationships, though, it is our lovely relationship segment. Get it, lovely love ha. relationship. I see what you did. Oh, yeah. Love it. <laughs> Funny. Mm. Okay. Well, <laughs> this is my favorite time to talk because I just I think these are really interesting. Did you know that Alexa, the Amazon Alexa, do you guys know what that is? Oh, yes. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't get anything right. They have teamed <laughs> up. <laughs> wow. no, you tell wow. me you tell <laughs> one thing. What's the weather? It is apple degrees outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, okay, so they have teamed up with eHarmony to help online daters find love via encouragement through Alexa. So basically what it does is the online dating site of eHarmony teamed up with Amazon and now they are searching with searching for love with artificial intelligence by when you open the app, the Alexa will say words of encouragement to you and tell you if somebody's looking at your profile, read messages. Um, basically, she's your wing woman. Huh. She is your new wing woman. And she's supportive. And it's kind of weird because you don't think that your computer can be your friend. But this we're in an me age <laughs> where... Yeah. Me and Josh are just looking at each we other. We're like, we know. Th we've seen Terminator. <laughs> 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 we know what's about yeah. to happen <laughs> after this. The terrible idea. She's going to destroy a couple of love lives. And also, yeah. she could... Yeah. Like, like, Possibly all of humanity. She doesn't get, <laughs> I, like I said, she doesn't get anything right. You tell her one thing and she does the opposite. So if you're like... Oh, should I date this person? I don't know what you're doing. Like, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it it's like yeah. go for it. And it's some person like from a different country or whatever. Like, it is kind of weird. There's certain um, things that are programmed in for her to say, such as, oh, uh, blank and so seems like a catch. He seems great. You should date him is one. Huh. Um, what's one? Oh, my, you have a lot of new matches is something she says. She apparently says, oh, my, a lot. Because here's one. Oh, my, you have a... Um, Wait, no, that's the same one. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, oh, okay. so basically she'll just be your wing woman and yeah. just give you words no. of encouragement. I could see that being really, like, flattering for somebody that's maybe a lot older, but, like, the younger you are, the creepier it might seem. Right. You know? Like, if you're if somebody, if you're somebody that's, like, maybe in, like, from 60 to 70, you're looking for a new partner, you'd probably be like, oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> <laughs> the robot just told me I got a new match <laughs> like that. see i also don't trust her because i know she's like oh yeah you two would be a great match but the second you ask her hey alexa why don't you date me she's like i don't like you like she actually i'm pretty sure says <laughs> something be, along those because lines because you like, have no friends yeah <laughs> she's like you're not my type i'm like but you think we're good together if you don't find me like attractive alexa what's going on right <laughs> but when i hear about ai stuff i think of the show westworld it's on hbo mm. and right. it's pretty similar to it it's about ai and um just Kind of like a, a virtual reality experience, mm. and it involves love and stuff. So interesting. Yeah, yeah it is interesting. Like have, have you seen the movie Her? No, I've heard about it. Do you that know freaks me yeah, out. Yeah, I know what you're talking oh, about. The that's guy weird. that falls in love with like 
his phone. Uh, Siri? It's like a Siri yeah. equivalent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's like an AI thing. Gosh, that's crazy. What if that's we got so to that crazy. point? I mean, I think it will in like a hundred years. Yeah. I would not be surprised if like that's the thing that like we we talk about like when we become parents and we're like, oh yeah, but. My daughter's in love with her phone, like yeah. literally. Oh, gosh, that freaks me. I out. mean, yeah. I would not be surprised. To be fair, when it comes to Google or when it comes to like the Maps app on your phone, I trust Siri with my life. So at this point, we basically are in a relationship True. when it comes to driving <laughs> yeah. around because yeah. she could tell me to go on a lake, like that Michael Scott on The Office. I would, <laughs> I would do that in a heartbeat as long as the blue arrow is going forward and she is telling me your destination is in two feet. I'm going two feet. Oh my Don't God. even care. Oh my goodness. Speaking about relationships, I have a couple of signs about your partner what they don't get about you you know we always want to date somebody that like completely understands you but there's some things that they don't really understand about e- each other so that's kind of like the relationship how it works and uh, one of them is your lifestyle choices clashing so basically hmm. you won't agree on everything in your in whatever you do so you'll be feeling one way then your partner will feel the other way lifestyle choices as in how you spend money or yeah, it could be like money or you know habits. what you do in your free time you bad know, habits good habits bad, ha- bad mm-hmm. habits yeah stuff yeah. like that i can see that being a big thing mm-hmm. uh, another one is they frequently suggest activities that you don't want to do or you don't like guardians so yeah so so whatever james asks Kristen, <laughs> he says uh you want to go see guardians galaxy and she's like yeah no, 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 no